are Creed fragrances worth it? To me, if you're somebody looking for a status symbol, then yes. But personally speaking, I don't really find the fragrances to be as worth it. And I'm not saying that they don't smell good, but they're a bit too inconsistent with performance for my liking. Now, there's a reason why you only see Silver Mountain Water in my collection and none of their other offerings. And that's just because this is the one I've gravitated to the most. But let's take an even more popular fragrance from them like Aventus, right? That's their superstar fragrance and it does smell nice, but the likelihood of you putting down over $350, $550 for that fragrance, getting it and it only lasting about three to four hours on your skin is pretty likely just because there are so many different batches and variations of that fragrance. Now, if you're somebody that already knows the type of vintage bottle you want, if you're searching for the Creed from 2011, then sure, you're going to get something with better performance. But I think if you have to go seeking a fragrance out that way, to me, it's just not like I would rather it be consistent. And somebody commented on my YouTube, not YouTube, my Instagram short or reel that I made about this topic. And they're like, if Aventus only lasts three hours on your skin and Oud Wood and Elysium last over eight, then you have to be lying about that. And it's like, I'm not, you know? And I'm not saying that all Aventuses last only three hours. Well, I'm saying exactly what I meant, that there are so many different variations of the fragrance. And especially for people that are new to scents or trying to make that transition and then they pull the trigger on something like Aventus, and they're like, shit. Where did the fragrance go? And I'm not even talking about being nose blind. I'm talking about it just disappearing off their skin. Then I could see a lot of buyer's remorse happening with that. Now, I haven't tried every single Creed fragrance. I have tried a good amount of them, like Virgin Island Water, Aventus Cologne, regular Aventus, Aventus for her, Royal Oud, um, Silver Mountain, like, you know, the ones like that. But I just, I wanna reiterate that this video isn't bashing Creed because there's a reason why they are like, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say, you know what, in a way, yeah, they're, they're kind of top house. Well, I mean, there's MFK, there's so many other niche brands too, but they're, here's what I'll say, because I keep stuttering all over the place. They are definitely held to a very high regard in the fragrance game. And I'll say that people that aren't as into fragrances, when they find out about Creed, they want to get their hands on it just because you know how the story goes, right? Where when people see something that is deemed as luxurious and high end and high class, they want to be a part of that small circle. So they want to be like, they want to make sure that they get their hands on whatever item it is and stuff like that, right? So that's kind of what Creed represents. Just people trying to establish themselves as exclusive and high end type of people. But this video is mainly focusing not only on the mass appeal of the fragrances, because yes, they do have high quality scents, but the performance is the big ringer for me. It's just that it's, it's too hoppy for my liking. But of course, if you do your research and you're looking for the specific type of bottling year that you want, then you are going to be satisfied with this brand. Now, in terms of the actual smell, you've heard me repeatedly say that it's nice, right? But I will tell you that even though Silver Mountain Water is my favorite fragrance from this brand, I hardly use it in comparison to my other favorite fresh, clean niche fragrances. To me, and if you've been subscribed to my channel, you know exactly what those are, but those scents blow this out of the water. Like I just, there's be, there was definitely a time where I used this more, but it's just, it's not, it doesn't, hold its own for me this is this is me talking not i'm not generalizing i'm just my experience all right but it doesn't hit the same in comparison to other fragrances especially when i wear them out like those are just like top 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 tier you know like the compliments go crazy and even for me when i'm wearing them i'm like oh yeah those are amazing now i do still somewhat get that reaction with silver mountain water but it's kind of just become more of like a eh like it's fallen more on the side for me, you know what I mean? And if this is kind of my epitome of a top Creed fragrance, and then when I look at the rest of the brand that I don't really gravitate to or the, the rest of the offerings, then that's why I don't find their fragrances to be 
as intriguing to me where I'm not looking to just stack my collection with more creeds. I'm definitely going to try, like going to try more creed fragrances in the future because I would like to test different things and more things like that. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion about it. Let me know what you think. Please don't be butthurt over this because I know some people really go ride or die for creed and that's awesome. If you love it, drop it in the comments. If you don't love them, drop it in the comments. I like hearing other people's perspectives on things, but I'll wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite Creed fragrance is, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.